Are you spending time with family and friends this holiday season and you can't stand some of them? Well, let's make a cocktail so you can deal with it. We are making eggnog and the way we're making it today, you've probably never had before, but it might change the way you make it from now on. And we're gonna Peruvianize it with a La Ruina syrup. What this does, it adds some sweetness, some bitterness. It's kind of like a dark chocolate. And it pairs really, really well with this Jim Beam that we've put in this Buffalo Trace bottle. Bourbon makes everything better. And eggnog is a damn good example of that. Sweeten this drink with simple syrup. You can make this at home easily. It's just one part water and one part sugar. Algarrobina syrup comes from the carob tree. This rich and healthy syrup tastes something in between chocolate and honey. It's a hard flavor to describe, but it's what makes this drink so distinct. I use a tiny spatula to get everything out. This is Peruvian gold. I like using whole milk, but if you want to make this drink extra creamy, use evaporated milk. It wouldn't be eggnog without the egg. The whites add frothiness and the yolks add creaminess. That's all for the ingredients. Shake this for 15 seconds without the ice to emulsify the eggs. This is called a dry shake. Add a couple of ice cubes, five or six if they're smaller than this. Close the shaker and get a tight seal. Now, this is the awkward part of every instructional cocktail video. Make sure you make eye contact with everybody and shake this for about 20 seconds. Use a strainer or whatever you can find in your kitchen to keep the ice bits off your glass. Serve it in a 10 ounce glass. Top it off with cinnamon and enjoy this delicious eggnog variation any day. Onto the blended version. Measure about half a cup of bourbon and add it to the blender. No, it's not all for you. This recipe will serve four to six people. Add three ounces of simple syrup and three ounces of algarrobina syrup. I got a bottle of this at my local Latin market, but I've also seen it on Amazon. I'll leave a link on the video notes below. Use less milk if you like your drinks a bit stronger, but this amount is pretty good for most people. We're only adding two eggs this time. Using a blender helps add more creaminess and frothiness. Add four to six ice cubes and blend on high for about 10 to 20 seconds or until you no longer hear bits of ice dancing around your blender. My friends and I go through these very fast. So this time I'm serving it over ice so it can last a little longer. Finish it off with ground cinnamon and now you can get sauced with everyone. Delish.